Welcome, Cinemark fans. Dave Raspoli here with the very talented cast of the thriller of the summer, The Invitation. The way this film unfolds is so intense and riveting. I was wondering what each of your experiences were like when you first read it. And did you see where it was going? Because I certainly did not. Uh, we'll start with Natalie. I definitely found the first read of the script incredibly like entertaining and exciting because of the way that we're telling a sort of old story that has had many sort of you know versions of it and then kind of placing it in a modern sort of context and how that sort of uh you know interacts uh with this very modern woman and in a very modern setting and um and so when you think about the sort of traditional views of the kind of culture of uh you know vampires like coming with this very modern sort of feminist woman, <laughs> artistic woman. It's like, it was already just like really fun. And um, and I just enjoyed G like Evie's sort of journey into sort of slightly uncertain of herself to being kind of a fighter um, in a way that she always had, but maybe didn't realize. Thomas, talk to us a little bit about your approach to playing Walter. <laughs> A uh, character who seemed both simultaneously charming and terrifying. Yeah, I mean that was the amazing thing. It was I got to play two characters in one movie, which was really really fun, uh, and it was really fun being an evil character and, and and that evil character playing the character of kind and sweet, uh, which was very manipulative and gaslighting. Um, but yeah, I did enjoy that and the kind of try to find a, a balance with or like the nuance of, of of keeping the audience not on not sure what he was he might be convinced at one moment and then another moment you're like actually no wait is he bad and then you're like oh he is really bad and then you're like is he is he really really bad and then so that was really fun to sort play. of like what evie went through to be honest you know, the audience gets to like go through that with yeah. her, which is quite fun. Yeah, that is fun. Yeah. Here she is. Where are the bride and groom? As you all know, there has been someone missing from this table. But that once broken bond will be renewed tonight. To Eve. My new bride. I want to go home. But this is your home. The way this film unfolds is incredibly intense and riveting. Now you also co-wrote the film, so I wonder where the inspiration derived from and how you first began to unfold this yourself. What immediately compelled me about the film was that um, it was a origin story about the Brides of Dracula. And I really hadn't seen that. I don't think it's been done before. And I'm always looking for that fresh take. Um, uh, and to me, I love horror. Horror has always been a genre that I've wanted to explore. I, I've been a, you know, I'm a fan of Cronenberg and Kubrick and Hitchcock. And uh, I always wanted to put my mark in that world. And um, yeah, and, and you know, who doesn't love a vampire film? Absolutely. Uh, speaking of that kind of horror genre, we're watching this entire film on the edge of our seats. As a director, how do you keep that tension going on set? And did you film in sequence to help that at all? I mean, you always try to film as much as you can in sequence. Of course, there's always going to be like location limitations, cast limitations that um, hinder that from happening. But I'm someone who really tries to stay true to the story, especially when someone's going through a harrowing experience. What was important for me was that everything that was before the climax scene was filmed before and everything that was after the climax. So at least there was that differentiation so that our actors didn't have to like you know, play those two characters back and forth in one day, because I think that would be really confusing and not very fair and not good for your emotional stability. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so I, so to me, it's like you've got to keep that tension. You've got to keep that. Uh, you've got to remember exactly what you shot. And you do that with your cinematographer and you really storyboard it out um, and remember where you left off the day before so that you can keep you so you can keep that rising tension. And I also work with incredible composer Dara Taylor, I feel really like elevated the music and elevated the score there. Well, absolutely. Well, folks, get ready to get your heart racing and go see the invitation on the big screen and get your tickets at cinemark.com. <laughs> Come